Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude, or as a few of you like to call me by my real name, Tony. As you guys saw a few days ago, I said that I have reached to 300 subscribers, so I wanted to try out my first ever Q&A video. This is my first time I do a Q&A video, so if I do mess this whole thing up, I am so sorry about it. But in honor of me making it 300 subscribers, I want to answer your guys' questions. I seem to get a good portion of questions, so I want to thank those of you that did ask me questions. I really do appreciate it, and uh, I just hope you guys enjoy this. So, And also, most of you have channels, so even if you have one video on your channel, I'll leave a link to each of your channels below. Uh, for those that have at least one video on their channel, I'll leave a link to theirs below. But let's start off with, I hope I pronounce this right, Joe Cabier Mella. His question is, have you ever watched the TV show Community? If you have, what do you think of it? I've honestly never seen the TV show Community. I mean, I've seen TV promos of the show. And I've had some friends tell me that it's a very funny show, but I haven't seen Community, to be honest. Maybe someday I will give it a chance, though. It looks like it could be a pretty funny show. Check out Joe's channel, you guys. The link to his channel will be down below. Next question is from Mr. Film Jack. The link to his channel will be down below, you guys. He does more reviews, and he just has a very cool channel. But he has a few questions for me. What inspired you to start YouTubing? Well, I would start out watching Jeremy Johns' videos. He's actually the first YouTube movie reviewer I checked out. And then a few months later, I checked out more YouTubers like Chris Duckman, Schmozno, Nick Yakabucha of Real Screen Reviews, Stephen Hunt, John the Flick Pick. I would check out all those guys and they are honestly my inspirations to start YouTubing. And I was all like, huh, maybe I could give that a try, you know? I don't expect to be a professional. I don't expect to be one of the greatest YouTubers ever because I honestly do not consider myself a good YouTuber at all. I'm just a guy who films videos, has fun with them, who edits uh, them as well. And, you know, they were just my inspiration. Plus, I feel like making videos helps me keep time passing by when I don't have anything to do at the moment. You know, when I'm not doing something, I'll I'll make the time to film my videos, plus edit them and keep them uploading. So those are my inspirations. Those six I mentioned, they were my inspirations. Then uh, about a month later, I got to check out other YouTubers after I started my own channel. Like, I checked out JW Universe, then from there I checked out Brian Mendoza, and I get to discover more and more as time goes by, and it's cool seeing others' opinions on films whether you disagree with them or not. The second question was, how did you become a part of We Live Film? Um, I just asked Scott Menzel on Facebook because I'm all like, huh... I should give that a try. Like, my plan was to just post one video a month on We Live Film because, uh, you know, I wanted to share my own opinion to the others that don't know who I am. And it's not really for me to be recognized, it's just for the fun of it. And he said it was cool. He told me how to give him the video, and that's it. And I have Scott to thank. I really do appreciate it. He's a very nice guy. So, thank you to him. What are your favorite trilogies of all time? No doubt, the Dark Knight trilogy. Funny thing, I mentioned that because look what I'm wearing. It's Batman. Yeah. Swear to me. And I have a Batman mask in my closet right now, but... <laughs> I'm a huge Batman fan. I really am. I love Batman. Batman all the way. But the Dark Knight trilogy is one of my favorite trilogies of all time. I really love the Lord of the Rings trilogies. They're long movies, but they're really entertaining films in my opinion. I also love the Indiana Jones trilogies. And the and in terms of animation, I really love Madagascar. All three of the Madagascar films. 
I love those films. I adore those films. I could watch those films over and over again. And there's a few more as well, but those trilogies are the trilogies that I just love to watch. Fourth one. What are your thoughts on the Spongebob film that released in 2004 and the one that's set for 2015? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of my subscribers have been requesting me for months and months to review the Spongebob Squarepants movie. And I will review the film soon, trust me I will. So I do not want to go in full detail on my thoughts because of that. But just to give you my brief thought on the movie, I will say I like it. I enjoy the film. It's a good film. I like the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. And uh, I will review it soon and give you my more details on it. So that's all I'm going to give for now. But I do like it. It's a cool movie. I really enjoy it, especially for a SpongeBob fan like me. And the one that's set for 2015. Well, actually, didn't they say the SpongeBob SquarePants movie 2 is in 2014? Huh. Yeah. Well, I'll look it up, but the one, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie 2, I am honestly even though I am a huge SpongeBob fan, I will say I don't like the idea of a sequel. Like why why would you make a sequel? Like seriously, uh, I love SpongeBob, but why make there be a SpongeBob SquarePants movie too? Like I'm honestly not too excited for the idea. One, I am scared of what they're gonna do. I really do not want to be disappointed in the sequel. More than anything, I want to love the sequel. Really enjoy the living hell of it, and I have faith it'll be good. But I just hope. Whatever they're going to do, they have the right direction, um, they have a creative storyline, and also hopefully, you know, with how Spongebob Patrick could be, I hope they don't add any annoying jokes in there, like nothing that makes it filler. I really do hope there's no filler moments in the movie. Like in the series, I could handle, but like if it's in the movie, uh, I don't know. So I hope it's not annoying. I hope it's creative. I hope it's really good. I hope they try something a little different from the first film and from the SpongeBob SquarePants series overall. But as of right now, I am honestly scared. I don't like the idea of there being a sequel, but who knows? The sequel could be good. I have faith, especially with me as a Die Hard SpongeBob fan, but because I'm such a huge fan, I'm just really scared because I do not want them to screw up the sequel. I really want the sequel to do very well. I really want to enjoy the sequel, and I really want a lot of people, especially the ones who hate SpongeBob nowadays, to enjoy the sequel as well. That is another thing that worries me, honestly, because there are a lot of people that stopped loving SpongeBob, obviously, after the first film, and with there being so many Spongebob haters and if they screw up the sequel what better is that going to do for those of the people that hate Spongebob out there you know it's already bad enough there are some people that say Spongebob is the worst cartoon ever which obviously it's not you know I, I don't care how old I am I love Spongebob but I just do not want the sequel to ruin the haters hating Spongebob twice as more so that's also why I'm very worried about a sequel. So please, makers, creators, please try your best with the sequel. Make it creative. Please don't screw it up, especially for those that hate the show now. Th those are just my thoughts, though. Could I get a shout-out? I just gave you a shout-out, Mr. Film Jack. But yeah, everyone, check out Mr. Film Jack. He has movie reviews, and he's very creative with them. He'll be funny with them. Whether I agree or disagree with him on his opinions, it's a lot of fun to watch his videos. So please, you guys, um, Mr. Film Jack, link down below. Awesome guy. Next question is from Seth Hyven. He said, are you a 90s kid? Well, of course. I was born in the 90s. You gotta love the 90s cartoons, man. The cartoons of the 90s were like the golden days, so I'm very proud to be born in the 90s because that's where all the cartoons really shined, you know? And now, as of today, we're getting some crap. We still get some good cartoons, which I'm happy about, but we also get some crap, so it has me worried how the world of cartoons is gonna go 20 years from now. But yes, I am a 90s kid. 
Who's your favorite SpongeBob character? Well, I love SpongeBob. I do love SpongeBob. I love Patrick. And I love Sandy. Those three are my favorite characters. But, um, slightly more I'm going to say SpongeBob is my favorite character in the show. Sandy's uh, awesome as well. That's why if you watch some of my SpongeBob episode reviews, I do a rant about how the writers don't include her in more episodes, and it really does piss me off. So, but if I have to pick one, it's SpongeBob. What will you do when you have 1,000 subs? Um, first of all, I'm barely at 300, so it's going to be a long, long, long time before I reach to 1,000 subs. But, um, I don't know. Um, maybe do another one of these Q&As. Uh, no, for 1,000, I want to try to go bigger. I don't know at this moment, to be honest, especially when I'm long, long ways away from it. So it's going to take me a long time to actually finally get there. But I don't know. I'll, I'm sure I'll think of something once I get close to it. I'm sure something will come to my mind. What do you think of modern music? <clears throat> Man, I love coffee. Uh, modern music, um, modern as in like One Direction, Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus, um, um, some other modern music is good, like, like I'm not gonna lie, I will listen to some of Selena Gomez's music, her past few songs though haven't been the best and get kind of repetitive. But most of Selena Gomez's songs I really like. I like listening to her music. I'm not gonna lie, I think they're enjoyable. Plus, I think Selena Gomez is smoking hot. I, yeah, she's just smoking hot. I can't help it. <laughs> but some other music can be good. Like, um, let's see. I'll listen to some of Bruno's Mars's music. His can get a little bit repetitive, but I do enjoy listening to his music. Um. Carrie Underwood's music, I like to listen to those. I like to listen to Rascal Flatts, you know. I'm more of a country guy, to be honest. My brother, Super J420, he's more of a rap person. But I do like to listen to Eminem. I like listening to some rap. I'm just not the biggest fan. So modern music could depend. But honestly, I'm more of a big fan of 80s rock, like ACDC. I love ACDC. ACDC is one of my favorite rock bands of all time. I just love that band so much. Every single of their music I could listen over and over and over again. Oh yeah, I love to listen to U2. I really like U2. And I love Guns N' Roses. And There's just so much music. Modern music. And as of today though, some are good. Some are crap, in my opinion. So I guess I'm going to say I'm... Um, mixed on it. So, yeah, it's okay. There's some good, some crap. Who are your favorite YouTubers? There's a lot. I can't really say who my favorites are. Like, before I started my own channel, like I said, I would watch Jeremy Johns' videos, Schmozno's videos, Chris Duckman, Stephen Hunt, Nick, Nick Yakabuchi's, and the Flick Picks. Those, uh, those six right here, were the only YouTubers videos I would watch before I even started my own channel and they were my favorites but I would have to say everyone's my favorite now because I'm discovering more YouTubers plus if I pick one I'm gonna sound like an asshole because I don't wanna hurt other YouTubers feelings like I don't wanna say who my number one favorite is because one it's not right Two, honestly, the YouTubers' videos I watch, they're my favorites. And, you know, it's just great seeing a lot of people's uh, videos, seeing their passion for movies or, you know, any kind. It's just really entertaining. So, I can't really pick my favorite because I don't want to hurt people's feelings. And also, basically, a lot of YouTubers' videos I watch, they're my favorites. This one is from... Corey Baba Slam 
I believe he has a channel. I will leave a link to his channel below. But he says, I know you said it's nice to look at the clouds. He's referring to my previous video. You know, the video where I told you guys to leave questions down below. I know you said it's nice to look at the clouds and stars, which is nice, but it couldn't be at the same time, could it? Clouds would have covered the skies, but also you can only see the stars when it's dark and less light pollution in the sky. But yeah, so the real question was, was you just enjoying the clouds then? But I can see you also like the view of stars in space. I also enjoy looking at the sky sometimes to see the moon and stars. It opens your mind to life. I totally agree with that, Corey. No, uh, dude, um, it was a mix of evening and night. I filmed, uh, my, uh, question, my quick question, uh, 300 video, like, around, say, I think it was 8 o'clock I filmed that video, and it was a mix of evening and night. It was more night, but I was, as I was looking up, I, I did see the clouds clearly, and I saw the stars, too. I wouldn't lie what I saw. I'm not that kind of person. But it was a mix of evening with mostly night, and I saw both the clouds and the stars. I definitely agree, dude. It really does open your mind to life. So I definitely agree with you there. Next one is from Trey Passer, a.k.a. Paul. Check out his channel, you guys. I love his channel. I love his channel. I try to watch as many of his videos as I can, but the videos I watch him do, I just love this dude's channel. He is awesome, and I just love his passion for movies, his Blu-ray updates, everything this guy does. Check out his channel, but he has four questions for me. So, from Trey Passer, a.k.a. Paul, how did you come up with Tiger Power? Hmm. Well... If you look back at my older videos, I never ended it with Tiger Power. And so, of course, with me getting started in the YouTube community and all, I was actually asking myself, I need some kind of catchy slogan that matches my channel. Like, you know how Chris Stuckman's slogan is, Get Stuckmanized. Or you know how Jeremy Johns' slogan is like, well, not slogan, it's more of a physical slogan, which is the punch. I want to be creative. So, it came up to my head when I saw my Tiger poster and I would listen to Eye of the Tiger. One day when I had to be creative, I would look at my poster, listen to the song Eye of the Tiger. And, I was, and as I was listening to it, it suddenly clicked to me. That's when I came up with the idea. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! And ever since then, I used it. What is your favorite movie? Oh, oh, holy crap. Oh, Paul, where do I even start with that? I have a lot of favorite movies. A lot of favorite movies, actually. <laughs> oh, wow. I have so many, um, definitely the Toy Story movies. I love the Toy Story movies. I love the Dark Knight movies. I love the Tarzan animated movie. I love the Indiana Jones movies. I love a lot of movies that I can't say under my head because there's just too many. You know, there's too many darn great movies out there. Oh, I love Inception. I love the Shawshank Redemption. God, I love the Shawshank Redemption. Too many great movies. Who is your favorite actress and actor? Okay, I have a lot of favorite actors. I have a lot of favorite actresses. I, I'll pick one of them. One of my favorite actors is Tom Hanks. Come on. Who can't go wrong with Tom Hanks? So talented. Such a great voice. And... He's just a very great actor. One of my favorite actresses. Man, not only are there a lot of great actresses, but there's a lot of hot ones too. One of my favorite actresses, honestly, is Amy Adams. I love Amy Adams. She's hot, but she's very talented. And, you know, she just has that charisma. She has that great charisma. She's one of those actresses where... 
she could be beautiful but be extremely talented and she's very talented like I don't love her because she's uh, beautiful which she really is but I really love this actress because she knows how to act I'm impressed with her acting skills she's proven over the years that she can act in any genre and that's really why Amy Adams is one of my favorite actresses if you could make any movie what would it be and who would star in it Hmm. Um, one of the ideas I actually did have, and, and it involves my favorite animal, I actually have an idea for a Disney Pixar movie. A Disney Pixar movie I actually came up with, I know you're going to think this is stupid, but I actually came up with the idea of a tiger who can tap dance. A tap dancing tiger. And who would star in it? Honestly, I could picture... Hmm... I could picture Hugh Jackman voicing the tap dancing tiger. I don't know. Some, when, every time I picture in my mind, I've always had that. I've always pictured Hugh Jackman voicing the tiger who can tap dance. I know it's weird. <laughs> If I had to make a movie, it would be a stupid movie. <laughs> this came into my head for some reason, but I actually came up with this movie idea um, of this high school kid. He gets bullied a lot, and it happens every single day. He gets so sick of bullying, and I mean, these bullers these bullies won't stop bullying him they not only bully him at school but they actually follow him around whether he goes to a restaurant they bully him there they, anywhere he goes they bully him they actually track him down just to go bully him and so this guy is so sick of getting bullied that he actually trains himself to be a ninja and with his ninja powers he actually takes down these high school bullies and makes sure that they never bully him again and uh, that's how the idea I came up with the high school bully um you know for some reason I pictured Christopher Mintz Plaz to play that high school kid that was getting bullied and was in that ninja suit to fight off those guys. That's who I would probably have to star in that film. Yeah, I know. You're probably looking at me like, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Next one is from Michael Rudnicki. Check out his channel. Link down below. What year were you born in? I'm guessing the 80s sometime? No, I'm not that old. <laughs> I was born in 1994. That was the year I was born. 80s. Do I really look like I'm 20 or 30? <laughs> but, yeah, I, I was born in 1994. You should have 3,000. Someday you will. Just keep putting out good content. Why, thanks, Michael. That really does mean a lot, man. I really do appreciate that. You know, kind words like this are reasons why I do continue making videos on my channel. If it weren't for you guys, for your guys' comments, you liking or disliking my videos, and viewing them, I would, I would have probably stopped making videos on my channel a long time ago. So, you guys really do keep me going on my channel. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for that wonderful compliment, Michael. I really do appreciate that. All right, next question is from Mario Sonic Bowser. Um, I think he may have a channel. I'll go ahead and leave a link to his channel below anyways. But he asked me, how old are you? I am 19 years old, dude. If you guys saw my birthday vlog last month in July, I made a vlog to celebrate my birthday. I told you guys what I did. Plus, I gave like four shout-outs in that vlog. But I'm 19 years old. I've been 19 years old for a month now. 
as my birthday is in July 13th and as I'm filming this Q&A we are in August so I'm 19 years old man I've been 19 years old for a month now who's your favorite Spongebob character as I said earlier Spongebob Patrick and Sandy but if I had to pick one it would be Spongebob do you play any video games uh sometimes I I honestly don't play that much video games it's really my brother, Super J420, who plays a lot of video games. Me, I personally don't play them. Um, I don't know. I just don't really, how do you say, get in the mood to playing video games. I just haven't been in that video game mood, uh, to be honest. Uh, sometimes it happens, but not a whole lot. When I do feel like playing games, I'll play it. But most of the time, I really just don't feel like playing it. But I'll play video games sometimes. All right. Next one is from Neil Patterson. What's your favorite movie ever? Um, Trey Passer, aka Paul, asked me that earlier in this Q and A, and just like I answered to his question, there's just a whole bunch of movies I love, and it's really hard to have them all come up to my head at once because there's just too many freaking amazing movies out there so I can't really say what my favorite movie ever is I don't have an all-time favorite because it's just too impossible for me at least to even pick my one and only perfect amazing film because it's just because there's just too many of those kinds of films in my opinion have you ever played any of the Spongebob video games oh yeah I played every Spongebob video game of course when I had my PS2 plus the Spongebob Truther Square game that came out a couple of years ago I played on the Xbox 360 the only one I never finished completing was the first ever Spongebob game and that was with the Flying Dutchman if anyone remembers that I was so pissed off because I never completed that game and Knowing that this generation is all about PS3s and Xbox One, you know, the generation is just advancing consoles. <sighs> I'll tell you, I miss playing the PlayStation though. And I really wish the PS3 had that old, that first ever Spongebob game just so I could complete it. And I wasn't able to complete it because when I bought it, it was a shitty blue disc. Halfway through I was playing that game, it froze on me. And every time I was in I was halfway through the game, it would keep freezing on me. And the more I continued playing it, the more it would freeze on me. After a while, I was just frustrated and I never got to complete that game and I'm pissed off that I'm never going to ever complete that game. I really am. I'm truly going to regret it because I never completed that first ever Spongebob game. But I, put, I completed other games and I played Lights, Camera, Pants. I love that game. That's actually one of my favorite Spongebob games. Creature from the Krusty Krab is awesome. My only complaint about the game was that Sandy is not in that game. They didn't include Sandy and Creature from the Krusty Krab. What the hell? Oh my gosh, there's a whole lot more. The Spongebob Squarepants movie game, that was that was an awesome game. Battle of Bikini Bottom, I have to say probably my all-time favorite Spongebob game because that was just, that game was just like, wow. That was just like, that was whole kinds of nostalgic Spongebob fan playnisms and that was, that was just a game I actually played more than any of the other Spongebob games. I just love Battle for Bikini Bottom. And Truth or Square, good game, but not that many challenges. And to be honest, probably my least favorite Spongebob video game. They really didn't do much with Truth or Square. Ten levels, it was too easy for a Spongebob fan like me. And that game overall, while good, disappointing, probably my least favorite Spongebob game ever played. Even the first ever Spongebob game with the Flying Dutchman had a little bit more challenges than that game overall had. So, Truth or Square, while fun to play, was disappointing and a little sad in my opinion. But yeah, I played every Spongebob video game and I miss those days of playing them. Um, 
And now we don't really get Spongebob video games. I wonder if they're going to make a video game for the Spongebob Squarepants movie too though. I really hope they do. I want to play a Spongebob video game again. Who, what are your favorite bands? ACDC, Guns N' Roses, hmm, U2, Journey, oh gosh, Journey, I love Journey, um, Rascal Flats, some Metallica, Metallica is a little too hardcore for me. Some of their songs, they're at the right level, but some I feel like they take it too far. But some Metallica, hmm, I'm sure there's more, I just can't think of some at this moment. Who inspires you? As I said before, Chris Duckman, Jeremy John, Stephen Hunt, The Flick Pick, Schmozno, and Nikki Akabuchi of Real Screen Reviews. They were all my inspirations to start my own YouTube channel, do a channel where I do my movie reviews, my Spongebob episode reviews, sometimes gameplays, my TV show reviews, and a whole lot of stuff I try to squeeze in on my channel. What videos are yours are you most proud of? Okay, to be honest, I'm proud of a lot of my videos. Well, my old videos I'm not proud of because I would run on and on. Back then, I didn't cut out any scenes or edit out my videos. I just filmed them. I just filmed them, added images, boom, I just uploaded it. I just uploaded it, but I didn't I didn't know how to cut back then and I'm not proud of my old videos because first of all I would talk way too long, I would stutter a lot, I would go uh a lot and uh, also because I would get interrupted sometimes while filming my videos and so it's like once that person, that one person would interrupt me, boom, I would have to start all over. So when I first started my YouTube channel, it was a pain in the ass, and back then, I literally had to make sure everyone who lives here at the house was nowhere to be around. Right now, I'm okay with it, because at least when I'm interrupted, I could just edit them out. But like back then, oh man, that was a pain in the ass. The ones I am proud of, though. I am proud of my newer videos. I love how my newer videos have been looking lately. I love my Valentine's Day special called Valentine's Day King to the Rescue. By the way, you guys, please check out my Valentine's Day video. I really do want more people to check out this video. I want to know your guys' honest opinion on it. I want you to be honest with it. Check out my video, Valentine's Day King to the Rescue. That's one of the videos, while stupid, it makes me roll my eyes. I'm actually proud of that I made it. And... You know, it was just something short, it's just like a five minute video, but I really loved how it came together, and I love the creativity and passion I put into it. So, I do recommend you checking out my Valentine's Day video, Valentine's Day King to the Rescue. Please check it out, and I, I would really appreciate your honest opinion on that video. My movie reviews I'm proud of. Some of the vlogs I've done, I'm proud of as well. Especially my all week long spring break vlogs. I'm really proud of those videos. I'm proud of the videos with my guest stars in there. So, you know, I'm proud of a lot of my videos nowadays. Next one is from Fiery Red Hot. Check out Fiery Red Hot's videos. The link will be down below the channel. What is your favorite season of Spongebob? Well, the recent season, season 9, is overall actually really good. I'm really enjoying how season 9 is going so far. Even though it has my most hated Spongebob episode of all time. Little Yellow Book. Oh, man. Okay, I don't, I don't want to even think about that episode. Too much hatred for that episode. But overall, I am really enjoying season 9. I'm really enjoying season 8. Um, let's see. Season 3 is an awesome season. I love season 3. Mm, season 4 is actually not too bad. Overall, uh, I think it's a tie between season 3 and season 8. 
I can't quite say season 9 though just because it has that one episode I hate so freaking much. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. If you guys saw that video, you know how much that episode has destroyed me. Like literally, it destroyed me. <laughs> but it's a tie between season 3 and season 8 in my opinion. <laughs> okay, what is the worst movie you've ever seen? Okay. I've seen a lot of shit. And just like for favorites, I really can't pick one. Because just like with favorites, there's so many great movies while there's so many shit movies. And I can't pick one because I've seen too much shit. One of them was definitely That's My Boy. That's My Boy is definitely one of the worst movies I have ever seen. I know some people say they think it's funny. I don't understand in hell why, but I respect their opinions. That's my boy. It's just one of the worst movies I've ever seen. Jack and Jill is bad. Not as bad as That's My Boy in my opinion, though. Oh my gosh. And the, definitely the worst kind of movies are like the spoof movies, like Holy crap, epic movie was shit. Disaster movie was disastrous. Man, there's so many bad movies. Those are a few movies I can name, though, that I really could not stand. Whew. Okay, next one is from I Enjoy Movies. Check out his channel. He has a very great channel. I love his channel. The link to his channel will be down below. He said, what's your favorite movie score? Oh, I have many favorite movie scores. Like, all across the border, I just love so many scores that have come out in movies back then and as of right now. It's like the ideas of movie scores haven't died out yet. And I don't think they will anytime soon because, man... Hans Zimmer is a genius, John Williams is a genius, as well as some other music composers. Jurassic Park is definitely one of the greatest movie scores out there. The Indiana Jones score, the Superman Christopher Reeve score, oh my gosh, that is just amazing. The score for Kick-Ass, it's called Flying Home. I love that score, I can't get enough of that score. The Dark Knight Trilogy scores, Man, that is just amazing. The Sam Raimi Spider-Man score, love that score as well. There's just too many great scores that come into films nowadays, so it's really impossible. But all I could say is that there's definitely a lot of great scores, in my opinion. What movie remake would you like to see? Honestly, I do not want to see a remake of any movies. Like, why remake them? It's like, once a movie's done... Just leave it alone. I honestly don't know what movie I want to see remade. Hmm. Um, maybe Singing in the Rain. I love Singing in the Rain. That's a classic. But if they remade it without screwing it up, I think that'd be fine. I think I'd be fine with the Singing in the Rain remake. Leave Singing in the Rain alone, but if they do remake it somehow, even if it's like 20 years from now, I guess I'm all fine with it, maybe, I'm not sure. And you guys, we go on to our last user who asked me 10 questions. This awesome dude is Brian Mendoza, and he is such an awesome supporter. By the way, dude, I actually saw your comment posted on my channel saying, I hope you reach the 300. Thank you for that amazing comment on my channel. That really made me smile. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for being one of the greatest supporters out there, Brian. Check out his channel, you guys. Brian Mendoza, a.k.a. The Movie Freak 226. He does a lot of movie-related stuff, reviews, updates, whatever uh, this dude comes up with. He does a lot of great things. Channel will be down below. But Brian, he asked me... Have you ever watched Fight Club? And if you've seen it, what do you think of it? I have seen Fight Club, and I think that's a freaking amazing movie. One of the best movies I've ever seen. You gotta love Fight Club. That movie is just like, 
Holy shit. All kinds of wow. Wow, wow, wow. Fight Club is freaking awesome. I just love Fight Club. <laughs> just love it. All-time favorite movie. Like I said, too many great movies. I can't answer that question because there's too many great movies out there. All-time favorite Swindler episode. Once again, I can't pick my all-time favorite because there's just too many uh, great episodes out there. I mean, I love chocolate with nuts. I love pizza delivery. I love... Spongebob meets the Strangler in the newer episodes. I loved License to Milkshake. I love Krusty Dogs. I love Krusty Towers. I love Gary and Love. There's too many great Spongebob episodes out there. I really cannot pick my all-time favorite. I have an all-time worst, but with favorites, I just can't pick at all. How old are you? Like I said, I am 19 years old, buddy. I've been 19 years old since July 13th of 2013. Who inspires you to make YouTube videos? Um, I think this is probably the fourth time in this video, but as I said, Jeremy Jones, Chris Stuckman, The Flick Pick, Schmoes No, Nick Yakabuchi, Real Screen Reviews, and Stephen Hunt, those six, my inspirations, buddy. Those were the only videos I watched before I started my own channel. Uh, favorite YouTuber, too many favorites, plus, like I said, I cannot pick one because I feel like if I pick one, I'm going to hurt your guys' feelings, and the last thing I would want to do is to hurt someone's feelings because everyone works hard in their videos. Whether you edit them or whether you just film your video and upload it, everyone works hard in their videos, and I don't want to put that person down because then they're going to feel like they haven't worked hard enough. Which everyone does. I don't believe in an all-time favorite. There's just too many great YouTubers out there. And the videos I watch, they do such a great job on it. I love everyone's videos. Um, favorite movie this year so far? Let's see. So far, if you guys have been keeping up, I've seen seven there are seven movies that got a perfect score for me. Seven perfect movies. Okay. The Place Beyond the Pines. This is the End. 42. Monsters University. The Crudes. Man of Steel. And Star Trek Into Darkness. So far, those are the only movies of this year that have earned... The highest of the high, four out of four stars. And I've been being, I've been careful because when I watch a movie, I have to think really hard, is that four out of four stars for me? And when you guys see my reviews, that's when you see, I give it that. So, so far there are seven movies that got my perfect score. And those are my favorite movies so far of this year. What theater do you go to? From where I live, everywhere is Sinmark. My theater, eight minutes away from my home, is Sinmark. My theater, 25 minutes away, is Sinmark. And it's by this mall. My theater, about 50 minutes away from this home, is Sinmark. Wow. So yeah, my town is is like being invaded by Sinmark. That is my main theater of my town. There's one car in my cinemas, which is like near where the Sinmark next to the mall is, and that's like about thirty minutes away. And that's about it. But the theater I go to, whether it's eight minutes away or a couple of times, thirty minutes away. And one time when I went to my early screening for Now You See Me was 50 minutes away. And plus, only 15 minutes away from my home, they're actually building a Sinmark Dinner Theater. They're building it as of right now from where I live in, but once that's done, I'm checking it out. A dinner theater? Wow. And it's Sinmark. So after that is done, it's going to officially be four Sinmarks in my town. Holy 
shit. But I love Cinemark. Cinemark's an awesome theater. But that is my go-to theater. No matter where I go, whether I'm far away or very close, it's always going to be Cinemark because that's the theater that's invading from where I live. <laughs> when did you find my channel? When JW Universe was having one of his contests, I looked under the video responses. That's actually where I found other YouTubers like Ali Walker, Trey Pastor, A.K. Paul. Most of those YouTubers I actually discovered by looking through the video responses of one of JW Universe's contests. So I actually have to thank JW Universe because if it weren't for him, I probably wouldn't know who half of these YouTubers are, and I have him to thank. The final question of this Q&A video. Favorite video Brian Mendoza has made? Well, dude, I really cannot pick a favorite because, personally, any video you make is great. Whether it's movie reviews, Blu-ray updates, your blogs, your contest, video responses, anything you do on your channel is fantastic. I love the things you do on your channel. I love how much passion you have for films. I love the creativity you put in your films. And you always look like you're having fun. So my favorite video is any video you make on your channel. And that is me being honest. That's coming from my heart. That concludes my 300 subscriber edition of my first ever Q&A video. So you guys, I want to thank you all for watching this Q&A video. Thank you for helping me reach to 300 subscribers. Thanks for supporting my videos. And I hope you enjoyed my first ever Q&A. And hopefully I didn't screw up. Hopefully I didn't ramble on and on, which I'm pretty sure I did. But anyways, you guys, I am 22 Tiger Dude. And don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!